So we're off to Anderson Farm. This is one of, by far one of my favorite sections in this game. Um. Shit. Really can't fight. We honestly cannot fight, so. We're gonna go deeper into a mine. A moonshine hobble. Um, but yeah. It's worth it, because there's a manuscript page. There's so many like parts of this game where it's like, oh yeah, it's worth it going there. Is it really? Yeah, no, maybe so. I swear I just saw through a wall. Oh crap. There we go. I don't remember, do I wanna go this way? I'm just trying to grab the thermos. Anyway, either way. This whole section is pure and unadulterated chaos. Because you have to think about this. It's like, you have no options. You must go the way that they tell you. And if you don't, well, firstly, you're going to just die. And the storm just keeps getting worse. The darkness is following Alan. Because it wants him back. It doesn't matter if he's dead. Or it does care if he's dead, but... It wants him back so that it can... F either finish the manuscript... Or prevent him from... Rewriting stuff. And then we just do this. We go up. Run over here. And we light it up. Uh, I love this kind of generator because it's much more free to just whack it. Also, I think it stays on pretty much as long as it can. No, it doesn't. I thought it stayed on longer. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. At least you have a flashlight. At least you have a flashlight. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Alan's gonna run out of stamina. Yeah. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. I need to get that generator working so I can get light. But I had no choice. We have to be quick. Alan, get your breath. Catch your breath. Because we're going to be running. Alan's a normal person. He's. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, Alan. Two. Fuck. Fuck. That's gonna do damage. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We don't have an option. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't have a choice, Alan. Come on.
That could have been bad. Or it could have been worse than it was. But that's not... The car was driving away from the ferry. ...headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Caught in the consequences of weeping before looking. I don't think that's Barry, though. Right? Like, if we think about it, how many of these cars actually have keys in them? We've been to various areas, and yet for some reason, there's campsites that have, they're here, there's all these people that just shouldn't be here. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. If it was Barry, there's a likelihood he'd be dead. Okay. Oh, this is Zane. Strange spaceman oh, shit. Died when he fought the suit. He was the one who'd been placing the papers on my path. Bear traps all over. I this okay. If we're talking about like least liked mechanic, the bear traps. Because they serve purpose, but they serve less of a purpose on in a weird way. Okay, two, three. Checkpoint. Shotgun. Thank you. Had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The game wants you to, to survive. It's a bear trap. Putting them on a trail like this. Did he get stuck in a bear trap? Honestly, it would be kind of funny if one of the guys got stuck in a bear trap. Is there something up there? No. And I walked right into a different point. What? That was a rock, my dude. Another bear trap. And that's another bear trap. Can we stop with the hunters already? Okay. You know, placing them on a trail, even if you're dark, evil, like, if it's the, if it's these guys putting them on the trail, it's fine, but, like... A regular person would be like, hmm. It's a brilliant move. get to the cabin quick because I don't have that much ammo left. I don't have enough ammo. Look at this shit. Bye guys. 
could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. The driver's gone. Dead. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Mary? Oh, it's the drunkards. It's the drunk dude. Oh. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. Oh, little moonshine, you know? It takes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. Uh, my buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, not him. <laughs> like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friend of this bad guy. Who, who wrote this... I did. Sorry. What is this? Are you dead? It's not moving. Oh. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't be valid. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangle her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape through the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. And there's your reasoning of Alan being protagonist. Hello? Oh. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Let me guess. The back door is locked. We're stealing a car. Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Look over there. Look out tower. All this stuff goes on and no one is privy to it. No witness. If Barry wasn't up here, survival. In the it's just right there. I just want to go down the hill. Down, down, down. Oh, wait. we can go up to the fire lookout. I want to bet there's like a radio show. There's a house, too. The house has yellow on it. Hmm. Someone's gonna come in and fight me. I just know it. But they gave me flashbangs. I will take those, because I know... I always say I know what's coming next, but what comes next is gonna be, as I said, favorite part of the game. 
Because we're gonna go up to the hill. Because I wanna see what's in the fire lookout tower. Or fire watch tower. Um, just because. A tower like this is pretty cool. On a technicality, I can never play Firewatch for YouTube. I've already 100%ed it. Almost twice now. So. The second time I said, I'm not doing it. Oh, radio. And a gun. Uh, okay. I'll take it. Hunter rifle, hunting rifle is printed for one shot, anybody. service reckon it'll last until morning at the very least uh, pertaining to that let me uh, read that missing persons alert again the sheriff's department still looking for a caucasian woman 30 years old slim and blonde with blue eyes who may be lost in the woods and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident if you see her please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff it's bad weather to be caught out in so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused give them a hand this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm. If I'm right, that description is Alice. She's the only one. Okay, I'm not going to say she's the only one, but Alan reported her missing to the police. Oh, great. I think it has to be a body shot, and then no count. Okay, I think I can just go... I mean, I have to go this way. Maybe I was supposed to go to the fire watch tower. Or maybe this is just a side road. I am a great driver. I am... The greatest driver. That was a tracker. Welcome to the radio, partners. Welcome to the... Welcome to Yippie ki -yay, motherfucker. There we go. Up to the farm we go. <laughs> There's just a dude running into a car over there. I do not know why. Maybe he's just bad. We have to go into the field. Tractor time? Oh no. Oh, never mind. Not a tractor. I said favorite section of the game. This is it. Welcome to Asgard. Or oh, sorry, the Bahama. The brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. It's awesome.
have to grab the buff. Turn on a flare. I did grab the flashlight. That's fine. It is still fine, Barry. Stage two. This is just awesome. Boats of the Fall did such a good job with the music. fun. Yeah. Round three. Okay. Can I do it? Yeah. And that's why you grab flashbangs. Just fade away. Yeah. Next stage. Okay, we're pretty much done. And boom. Shaka Laka. <laughs> that was a favorite section in the whole game. And that is why. That was awesome! Yeah. Right now, it's rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Let's go. To the farm we go. Seriously, I couldn't walk over a ditch. Oh, maybe did we not get in yet? I thought we just got in. Oh. <laughs> this is weird. See, best seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Good job, Barry. Back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Barry is hilarious. Okay. Unless we need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Got to get up there. Anderson Farm is probably just a it's just a cool setting. Like they're rock stars. Washed up rock stars, but still rock stars. That's why I, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always rock stars as you pig. And if I don't get my way, I'll shout all day long. <laughs> I'm always friendly and moody. It makes me very, very attractive and mysterious. mysterious. Right now, I'm just 
standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> and we can go inside. If I remember right, uh, there's a vehicle somewhere. That's the boat. from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Parts of Asgard. If I, if they were a real band, I feel like Okay, they are a real band. If they were a band that wasn't a band pretending to be another band, um... I think it would be fun to see them in person. Right? Like, that would be one of the cool... Oh. It would be so cool to see them like perform like all these custom songs dressed in costumes like with a cus like a really cool set it's all Norse themed I know they did something at, like the game awards I think the game awards are meh Hi, right, buddy. He just ran off. Oh, shoot. That's a knife guy. I hate the knife guys because they just, they're so fast. They're just so speedy. Oh, but two hits with rifle. Cool. To the farm we go. I don't have any flashbangs anymore. I do have this. I just need to take this guy out. Three, five, six. And there we go. Let's at least get this truck out of the way. And I guess we have to go. I think we have to go up there. Because we can't go in there just yet. At least 
How's that? Not yet. 